Hey everybody, namaste and welcome to the video. Um, I want to make this little video about recovering quickly from arguments or, or, or tough situations in life where we're disturbed emotionally. I'd say the first thing we need to do is really just settle down in ourselves, become aware of the present moment, become aware of our thoughts and emotions, and to not resist the way we feel. Accept ourselves completely how we feel, mentally and emotionally. Accept our, our minds if it's racing. Accept ourselves completely, so offer no resistance to what's happening within us is the number one thing, okay? Along with becoming aware of the present moment. Um, the second thing we might wish to do is to shake off the energy. Maybe, maybe to express the energy that we're feeling. So if we're upset or irritated or angry or sad, with, with, the, with the awareness of our emotions, the present moment and our thoughts, and without offering resistance, allowing ourselves to be exactly the way we are without trying to force ourselves to be different, we will non-forcefully and harmoniously allow ourselves to express something if it needs to be expressed. So for example, we may allow ourselves to sob or to cry even, or even to, to yell, <laughs> to, to weep, or to express the energy physically, like if it's a lot of energy, like anger or something, we could punch a pillow, like I've said in other videos, or shout, hopefully not at anybody, but maybe preferably just if we're on our own. Or else just like tense all of our muscles and maybe cuss under our breath or anything like this. It's pretty here, isn't it, in Ireland? Sunday. July 2012. So this is just being aware of the present moment here. Seeing stuff. We don't, so. Just being aware that our minds can, ver can keep repeating what just happened and that's okay. And it's very necessary to learn and to study what happened to see if we were so-called wrong or unfair or mean or bad or how we contributed. See, we can we can figure things out while looking at flowers or the sky. Just while enjoying or taking a slow breath, and just becoming a little bit aware of our breathing. So I always try and do everything with as much harmony and peace and relaxation, inner relaxation as possible. With at least striving or straining as possible. I'm just easy on myself, as in I don't think critical thoughts about myself and I just try and accept myself emotionally and mentally just the way I am at this moment. And I invite you to do the same now and in the future. not just accept ourselves unconditionally, lovingly, gently, the way we are, but also accept and love gently, unconditionally, other people the way they are, emotionally and mentally and behaviorally, just at this moment and in the past, in the last 10 minutes, the last half an hour or a day, how they were five, 10 years ago, or how they are at this moment. So. It's an opening and an invitation for the cessation of judgment, criticism, blaming, condemnation, and harshness towards others and ourselves, and being willing to understand others and ourselves a little bit more, why we're doing things, why they're doing things, and to open our heart 
and have a tenderness of understanding towards other people and ourselves, why we are the way we are. And from this place, now we can take, take action if, if it's possible or required to generate a new, happier, possible relationship from a place of inner peace and love, understanding and acceptance of ourselves and other people. <sighs> There's a bee on a flower, nice birds in the sky, little insects, little red things, tiny. <laughs> There's loads of them. And we can enjoy our breath, just take a nice long deep breath. To always just be okay with the way we are at this moment, not trying to forcefully, aggressively force ourselves to be different. Everything is allowed, all is okay. Emotionally and mentally. But just, just also to be aware of the effects certain thoughts have on us and the, the effects of being unaware of our emotions they can control us and stimulate our thoughts in a negative way. So become aware of that too. That's all I really wanted to say. I think I've more or less covered the simpleness of this. Simple but not always easy because of our conditioning and our unconscious mind when it, when it, when it thinks and stuff and controls us. So it's just about stepping into awareness into the present moment and our thoughts and emotions in the present moment as well. And I always try and send a bit of love and gratitude towards the universe or your blessings in life or even towards another person or situation that was difficult or maybe an argument. And just understand people are doing their best and they've got limited tools and they have fears, they're upset, they have hurts from the past that they haven't been, been yet been able or ready to release and deal with. So always grow wiser from your little interactions with people. See how you can make it better in the future, more harmonious. Never to be a walkover. Sometimes we need to step up in our power with, with an open, loving heart too. That's very important. Always try and forgive now. Don't wait to forgive later. We usually forget to forgive um, in the moment because we're caught up in our thoughts and emotions of the other person being wrong or bad or whatever else. But let's see, instead of waiting for five years or tomorrow to forgive somebody we're having a bit of a conflict or an issue with now in our lives, let's see if we can open our hearts and forgive now. <laughs> let's see if we can do that honestly. Just, whoa, now, let's think about this. Do I have any non-forgiveness or harshness towards them now? And now let's see if I can forgive them now. Now, not later, now. And that is just beautiful. Forgiving people now, and that just changes everything. Everything, everything, everything. So best of luck with everything. And on an end note, no one's going to remember me or you or anybody in hundreds or thousands of years. This is just a blip. It's like, it's like, it's like in a playground or experiencing ground and creation ground of the soul's game or something. God's sources, <laughs> experience and expansion. <laughs> so remember to learn from stuff and to enjoy life and to create what we want and what we like and prefer, but not to get too attached or too serious about life. And don't need recognition or don't need, try to try need less things in life. You know? All right. Take care. Take care and much love. And best of luck with everything. Bye. It's funny making videos sometimes. It's like, <laughs> thanks for watching. Catch you again soon, okay?